What if you could see what your pet feels? Would it make a difference? Is he sad? Is he hurting? Is he guilty he ate your sandwich? We don't know. Everyone around here either knows someone or themselves has owned an animal. And that nerve-wracking feeling when you have to take your puppy or your kitten for the first time to the vet for that first procedure, usually getting it neutered or, or spayed, and that's very nerve-wracking when you have to give your animal to a vet for that first procedure. It's usually fine, but there's always, you know, surgeries, there's always a small chance. A few years ago, my brother, who's Dr. Jory Bocknick from Canada, called me and he had a rough, rough day. What had happened is he was doing a surgery on a puppy and the puppy suffered a major allergic reaction to the, to the anesthetic, which caused irreparable brain damage and therefore they had to put the puppy down. And it was devastating for him and he didn't want that to happen again. And he asked me at the medical company I was working, is there equipment that we use that could monitor an animal once it went into the practice, continually monitor during surgery, and monitor them right before they leave the practice. I said, well, we have some equipment. So we set it up. He worked perfectly, he loves it, but there's a problem. The equipment is geared for humans, not pets. So there's a big box, lots of wires. Second of all, human medicine, the price point is way out of whack for veterinary market. Did you know that post-surgical complications, so deaths caused by post-surgery complications, can be reduced up to 50% with digital monitoring? Now let's look at the current problem. It's a little blurry. There's a dog on, an, on a practice doing surgery. One of the main things you notice, it's got wires all over it. EKG, pulse ox, and all those. It's a major problem for vets. Second of all, they're not doing continual monitoring. They're monitoring when the animal is sedated, in surgery, or when it's post-op. Because you can't tell a dog, leave that cable on. They just pull it off. Third, the equipment is very specialized. It only monitors certain vital signs, and that's it. And not, not combined in that sense. So what we're going to do now is listen to Dr. Jory Bocknick tell you a little more about current problems in his practice. So this is just an example of a standard surgery and the amount of clutter associated with all the monitoring devices, whether it's blood oxygenation, electrocardiogram, or blood pressure. All the leads associated with it, and the area of interest that we're working in is his mouth. So there alone, having a device that could measure blood oxygenation and heart rate that is not inside the mouth would free up our surgical field, and that alone is worthwhile. So what is our solution? Our solution is the wireless zoo platform. It consists of a tailpiece to monitor oxygen level and heart rate, which will transmit to a collar to record ECG and take that combined signal and send it to the cloud. But that's not where the product ends. What we also allow is for multiple animals, where we can monitor multiple animals, up to 10 or more, that will stream wirelessly back to the cloud so any animals within the practice can be monitored, basically giving vets the same capability human hospitals had for the last 15 years. Is we can put the collar on. And so now we'll apply a transducer to the tail base. So you can see we've got the collar up front, transducer to the tail base. Transducers, there's no gluing or anything. The transducer is just held in place with a uh, removable vet wrap. And he can go into a run. And we can monitor his vitals wirelessly, Bluetooth, easily improving patient care and creating an entirely new revenue stream. Just before I go on, I just want to point out that was a dog, that wasn't a small pony. It was an Irish wolfhound. And unfortunately, about a week ago, my brother's dog had a cardiac arrest in his van and he wasn't able to revive him. And if he was wearing a device, he may have not had the same outcome or it could be the same outcome, but he would have been able to at least have other options if he caught the cardiac arrest earlier. Now, we're predominantly looking at the vet market, but that's not our only market. There are a lot of parallel animal welfare markets that are blue oceans, basically, that we're looking at. We're looking at the equine market, the cattle industry, animal transport, zoos, 
And while we're sending all the data to the cloud, we're also looking at making that data available for further analysis by the pharmaceutical company and the insurance company, as well as other practices and universities, other facilities that could find the data useful. Now let's go back to the veterinary market. We're predominantly looking at these seven markets to start our launch in. We've got Australia and New Zealand, Canada, US, UK, Brazil and Japan. I know you're thinking Brazil and Japan. But up here shows the percent per household of pets. Now the next figure which I'll be showing you is a relative number of vet practices in those countries. What's interesting to note is Australia and Canada have relatively the same pet demographics, but the vet practices are significantly different. I think it has to do with the weather. Us Canadians would like to keep our pets inside than outside. Now the next graph I'm gonna show you is the relative amount of money people are spending in those countries at the veterinary markets. It's interesting to note, we know US is quite high at 13.4 billion, but Brazil at 6 billion. And these are just seven markets we're looking at, which is showing the strength of the vet market. Alpha Vet Tech mission is to raise a level of care for animals, basically trying to make it, give them the same quality of care that we humans have. So wouldn't you want to see what your pet feels? I'll be free after to answer any questions you have about the product. If you have a pet, you want to talk to us. We can tell you what we're doing, where we're at, all that kind of stuff later on. Thank you.